Recently, there has been a surge in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning resulting in multiple deaths in Texas due to the winter storm and power outage there. Nationwide, about 400 people die from unintentional carbon monoxide exposure every year. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning inside homes. In order to understand how carbon monoxide causes harm to one's body, I will first explain how our body utilizes oxygen, an element essential to the survival of human cells. This image illustrates how oxygen inhaled into the lungs is picked up by hemoglobins, which are oxygen-binding proteins inside red blood cells. At the same time, hemoglobins release carbon dioxide into the lungs to be exhaled. The oxygen bound to hemoglobins is transported throughout the human body via the blood circulation. Carbon monoxide is an odorless and colorless gas formed by the incomplete combustion of fuels that contain carbon. Carbon monoxide has over 200-fold more affinity to hemoglobin than oxygen meaning that when people inhale carbon monoxide, the carbon monoxide molecules combine tightly to hemoglobins and displace oxygen. This binding of carbon monoxide to hemoglobin prevents the delivery of oxygen to tissues, and the lack of oxygen suffocates cells. Without treatment, a person exposed to a high level of carbon monoxide can die from asphyxiation. Carbon monoxide can be generated indoors during our daily activities. Here are some examples of common sources of carbon monoxide in our homes. Motor vehicles, portable generators, furnaces or boilers, portable kerosene or gas heaters, gas stoves and ovens, grills, power tools, wood stoves, fireplaces, tobacco smoke, etc. A carbon monoxide level below 10 ppm is considered safe, and a carbon monoxide level above 50 ppm can cause harms to humans. When exposed to a harmful amount of carbon monoxide, people will get sick. Symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning vary depending on the concentration of carbon monoxide in the environment, the length of time one is exposed, and one's general health. With low level of carbon monoxide exposure, healthy people can feel fatigue while people with heart disease may have chest pain. With a moderate level of carbon monoxide exposure, people can develop impaired vision, a lack of coordination, headaches, personality changes, dizziness, confusion, or nausea. People may feel they may have flu-like symptoms which resolve after leaving the environment with harmful levels of carbon monoxide. With exposure to very high levels of carbon monoxide, death can occur within a few minutes. Carbon monoxide is cleared from the body through exhalation from the lungs. For people with mild carbon monoxide poisoning, breathing in fresh air for four to six hours reduces the amount of carbon monoxide in the blood by half. For people with worse carbon monoxide poisoning, breathing in pure oxygen or breathing inside a high-pressure oxygen chamber can accelerate the clearance of carbon monoxide from the blood. Because we cannot see, feel, or smell carbon monoxide, the gas can silently build up indoors until one feels sick. In addition, the early symptoms of carbon monoxide poisoning are similar to those of flu, so people tend to ignore the early signs of carbon monoxide poisoning. Because of these reasons, it is important to take the following precautions to prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. Install carbon monoxide detectors in your home, in hallways, near bedrooms. Open the flue when you use a fireplace. Never use charcoal grills indoors. Never heat your home by using an oven or a stove top. Do not use portable generators indoors. Do not operate gas-powered tools 
or engines indoors. Inspect, clean, and tune up central heating system, such as furnaces, flues, and chimney every year. Do not idle the car inside garages. By following these procedures, carbon monoxide poisoning can be effectively prevented.